Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this Foscam Wireless 1080p IP camera. As you can see here, it came in this nice small little package here. In the front here, it says it has a lifetime support, it has full HD. There's a sticker here, but basically it's just telling you that there's an easy three step installation. So you get to download the app, scan the barcode, log in, and ready to go. So you just use the new Foscam Cloud that allows you to quickly access the camera. And so in the back here, we have a little bit more detail of some of the features. So we have full HD, two way communication, intelligent alert, and then we have cloud service, message push. So basically, pushing message to your apps. To let you know of notification. You have remote control, magic zoom. You sound like a digital zoom here. Uh, 110 viewing angle. You have a wide dynamic range 2.0. You have audio notification. Uh, so it support wireless N here. And then you have night vision, external memory card, and then you have of course uh, update firmware. So anyway, let's just open it up and see what coming inside. I like the fact that these new fast cam come in a much smaller packaging compared to your older one. So very nice. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought. I thought it was as big as some of my older Fox Cam, but actually it's a pretty small, nice little unit there. Put it to the side for a second. So at the bottom here we have that uh, Fox Cam Cloud service and then remote installation. I previously seen this before. Basically, it just has some uh, code and card. Uh, serial number in here you can actually call them and they will help you to install this camera remotely if you can't figure it out yourself. So inside here we have two little package. Let's see what's coming now. This is the base for mounting, and then there's the little antenna that you can attach. Here is the power cable, look like a typical Foscam power cable, but it's about 5 feet long or so. There's some uh, mounting screw, and then you have the user menu along with the CD. This is a 3.5mm CD drive here, probably have software on it. And here's a small little installation setup. So it looks like you will mount the base into the wall if you want to, and then you can just screw this on like that. So this is much simpler than the previous version. And it goes in here. So of course up front here you have the lens which is cover. We will have to peel it off right here. Uh, you have the lens here. I'm sure around there there's probably some uh, infrared LEDs. Uh, at the bottom here look like a microphone. And to the side here we have the micro SD slot. And in the back here we have look like uh, some vent or speakers. And then we have the 5 volt power input to LAN LED status and then there's the LAN port. And then on your side you have the WPS and the reset button. So the app you need to get from the app store is called Foscam. Uh, there's just a blue version here that's the one you need to get. There's also other versions, just be careful. There's a red version also. The one you want to get is the blue version. This is for the new uh, Cloud IP Canon camera. So I'm going to go ahead and give the camera power right now. And then it will come on. Here in the app all I have to do is just tap on the add camera. And then it will ask me to scan a QR code. So we're just going to ahead and do that right now. At the bottom of the camera, there's a QR code. The camera is currently spinning up. So it's using my current Wi Fi. Let me see if it actually can handle your 5 GHz Wi Fi. So as you can see here, the camera is now connected. So I tried to connect using the 5 GHz frequency on my wireless router, and that doesn't work. So the camera will only do 2.4 GHz, by the way. Uh, the only quirky thing is that when you uh, use the app here, it will only let you select the last Wi-Fi that this uh, phone is connected to. So if you connect it to 5 GHz, you need to switch to the 2.4 GHz one, and then um, you can set it up that way. So the Foscam app is pretty fast and easy to use. As you can see up here, uh, the model number is R2, and I just go ahead and call it R2D2. There's a little icon here that you can change the name of your camera if you wanted to. And uh, here you can click in the middle and it will launch the camera. And uh, so if you turn this way, you get your full screen. And this is right now a 1080p view. So right now it's a little bit gloomy outside. It's about I think 4 p.m. And uh, yeah, it's pretty gloomy outside. So as you can see here, uh, this is what you get on the inside. So night vision has kicked in, and uh, that's what you can see. Look pretty nice. And uh, you, of course, you can just tap on the screen here, and then you can use this arrow key here to rotate the camera. As you can see right now, so I can hold down for a second here and move the camera. So as you can see here, the camera has quite a nice uh, wide angle. So my whole living room is in view, including the hallway here, which is quite nice. And you can see the roof of my ceiling and also the floor right here. So yeah, it's a very nice wide angle. And uh, for night vision, this is pretty nice. Uh, some other button you have, you have this little icon here for uh, listening in. And you can listen to the audio and you can also click this button here to enable talking so that you can actually talk to the device. Uh, there is this button here which will take a picture. 
just like that. You also have this button here, we start recording a video, and it tells you top that it's recorded recording, and then you also have this little timer here, let you know it's recording, and you can press it again to stop. Those recording are being saved to the little camera SD card, so yeah, you can look at it later. You also have this button here that let you do preset and cruise, and that's an option. And then here you have the option to go different night vision mode, so you can have it open or close, but you can have it auto, and you can have it on scale. Uh, there's my wife right there, she just wake up and then here is the little button to mirror the camera horizontally and vertically and then also here you have the HD button that you can set from smooth to HD smooth meaning lower quality while HD meaning the really high best quality possible but of course you're not going to get as smooth as the footage so as you can see here the color reproduction is pretty good this is an outdoor shot right here and you can see I have my Japanese maple tree over here and uh, the color come out very well uh, this is on the full HD of course with the maximum setting and uh, right now it's transferring about almost 400 kilobytes here per second uh, other than that uh, there's a few more options in the apps so if you go this way up top here you have a little setting icon you can click on it and in your setting icon here you have a few information there is this new order history use is I believe using for the new cloud storage right now I don't have anything there uh, that's a new option I noticed recently you have connection you have basic information uh, like the camera Mac address and all that stuff you also have a sync time network you have alert that you can set so in here you have two different kind of alert you have motion detection so you can have that and you can set it to different day scale and you can have sensitivity so I set this to medium and it seems to be pretty good it's not triggering like crazy um, you can also set the sound sensitivity and this is also set to low when I set a medium my kid is running around making noise and that actually trigger the uh, no alarm notification here when these are being triggered you actually will get a little message here on this phone here showing you this different uh, message you also have this HDR mode here which I accidentally turned on one time and when you turn this HDR on you basically want to have that when you have a very bright environment maybe outdoors or something like that but for indoor you turn that on the quality of the video get really bad so you probably don't want to use that option there's also an on-screen display here that you can display your camera time and camera name and at the bottom here you also have security setting which you can change a few different things and then finally you have a firmware upgrade that you can actually upgrade when I got this unit and uh, it was not on the latest version and I was able to up the over the air and get the latest version here so that's pretty much uh, most of the setting here if we go back out just a little bit more you have two more icon up top here you have this little notification here you can click just show you all the different alarm and different triggering as you can see here and these will come to, to your phone and everything and you can see that uh, there's also system message will show you stuff like camera going down stuff like that but it's nothing there right now and then you have this little icon here which is a little picture icon now you can click on that you can see here these are the few pictures that we took for example that one take earlier we can also go to video and look at the video that we record so here is some example video here as you can see it stream quite fast and very quickly which I really like this is from the other day here's another example and yeah the uh, streaming is very fast uh, even from the memory card to over the phone here so overall yes Foscam camera works pretty well I love the 1080p quality the footage is very nice during the day and uh, at night the night vision kick in and it also look very nice hopefully hopefully the sample footage throughout this video will show you and give you an idea of what the footage look like uh, I plan there was two things that was lacking for me, so I was unable to get to the web page from my computer. So uh, supposedly there's a link somewhere, but I couldn't figure it out, and I contacted them, but they haven't answered me yet. And the other thing is that there's no control on brightness and color and all that stuff in here. So yeah, it seemed like the picture is pretty good, but if you have some problem with it and you want to make uh, you know more saturation, less saturation, you know, making some color adjustment, you don't have that option here when the end app. But overall, the setup is pretty simple. It's a quick setup, and within a few minutes, you're ready to go. You just need a Foscam app, and you also need an account. So other than that, you can use this in and out. You how, and you don't have to set up any firewall or anything like that. So I hope this short little review helped you in your budget decision. If you have any question, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for a future review. Thank you.